Are you ready to go inside the sand temple? I am not, so I'm going to do more side quests. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's begin! It smells awfully dusty in here and the air is really stagnant. It bothered me at first, but I'm kind of getting used to these dungeons. Although, I, they probably still could use an air freshener. Anyway, let's go find the bone lights! Okay, so the first thing you'll see is this contraption, a kind of cracked wall dealio there. So let's put a bomb over there and see what becomes of that wall. What? That's impossible. No. This can't be a cracked wall that's impervious to bombs. Hmm. Well, maybe it has to do something with this in the future. Well, let's just keep that in mind for later. Now, for this dungeon, anytime you see a treasure chest, just make a little note of it on your map, just to kind of make things a little bit helpful for yourself, because, well, it's sort of kind of everywhere that we're going to have to go multiple times, so you might want to just make those notes for the future. Got it? Good. Lock door little preview, I guess you could say, of the stairs of sorts. There's some pots, there's some boulders, there's a safety area. Yay, I'm safe, but we must, we must advance, but watch out for this! <laughs> that got me my first play and I laughed so hard at that. I mean, yeah, it is cheap, but, you know, it, it doesn't take much of your health or anything like that. You got all that health way back at the start of the dungeon and everything like that from those pots and whatnot, so... It's like, ah, eh, they're prepared, Ugh. they're prepared to mess with you well. <laughs> so, it's not like it was, it's a cheap Mega Man type death. Oh yes, I went there. <laughs> so you can get unlimited arrows over there, and I would like to shoot this eyeball over here, if at all possible. I like to shoot at it from an angle because it's in the direction that the boulders are rolling. Just a matter of finding the right opportunity like that. Yay! <laughs> also make a note that there is one eyeball over here. Just just for the future. Just saying, okay? Okay, let's see what's in this chest. It is... Whoa! The greatest prize of all! Once you have enough, you can go shopping! <laughs> but it's actually a trap. For there are staff also awaiting us, and they're up for blood. Is it kind of? I mean, they're, well, I don't know what they're gonna do with the blood. I mean, they're already dead, so. <laughs> so not like that they could use a transfusion or something like that. You know what? I'm gonna use your main weakness here, because you guys are kind of. Yeah, take that. How do you like those apples? <laughs> It's too overwhelming. Just get the bombs and blast them to smithereens. There's our real prize. <laughs> oh. Woo! What was that sweet what was that thing that was giving weird sound effects there? I don't know. Anyway, let's get our real prize. Yeah, it's a small key, baby. Woo! And we can also take a look see around here, but alas, alas, there is nothing to be found. So let's just follow these boulders back and do not, and I repeat, do not make a right right there. <laughs> well, your character's right. They would be a left on camera. So anyway, key, a door, hmm, hmm, yeah, let's just use it. <laughs> yeah, we, we can't do anything else here until we get the main dungeon item, which we'll be getting rather shortly, actually. So we can go across this bridge over here and get ourselves a treasure too. Okay, just one, maybe. <laughs> and mm, let's hop down here. It doesn't seem like that there's anything else around these parts, but wait. But wait, what was this blobby sandy thing? Why, it's a Jeroon! Or Garoon, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but they are completely impervious! Take that, you monstrosity of spook! Nah, yeah, we, we don't have anything that can deal with them whatsoever, so let's just leave them be for now. And this is probably just gonna be a uh, tell how many treasure chests are on the floor or whatnot thing. I haven't really needed them, have I? <laughs> Uh-huh, uh, yes, yes, no. 
<laughs> just as I figured. Alrighty, so let's go up this way and beware for there's rolling spike traps of doom! Gotta get a, in between one of these gaps over here. Eventually we'll be able to pull that off. It's kind of tight. Okay. <laughs> and that's sort of kind of a way back of sorts, I guess you could say. Uh, you'll, you'll see what I mean by that in a minute here. Uh, yeah, you'll notice that there's all these sandy spots on the ground and whatnot. Well, well, you will find out more later. Behold the Staphos Warrior! And these are much more aggressive and got more health than your typical Staphos. And they also swing their swords wildly at you, and yeah, it's just probably best to do the bomb strategy again. <laughs> that works. I guess that was technically a mini-boss of sorts of the dungeon? Sorta, kinda, because there's nothing else quite like that, and that, now it makes sense to get a Staffel Skull, not like in the Hyrule Castle in the pots. <laughs> Alright, main dungeon item already. You're like, what? Already? That's because you've got a lot of stuff to do with this. It's the sand one! What's this stick thing? You think I'll need it to solve a puzzle? Anji did say that this temple is full of tricks and traps. Oh, oh no, the dungeon is changing! That was loud, I hope it was alright that we took that wand. It should be fun. <laughs> With the power of the sand wand, we can now complete the dungeon 100%. Oh, we're trapped. Oh. Well, this is awkward. Guess we gotta restart the game all the way from the beginning and not grab the sand wand. Or... We can use it to bring platforms out of the sand by solidifying it, like compacting it. And look at that, we can make platforms! Yes! Yes! <laughs> we don't have to restart the game entirely! The walkthrough is saved! Now we can also get that treasure chest up there, but look at this, now they're all in sync! So how the poop do you get past this seemingly insurmountable ob ob obstacle? Well. You gotta offset their sink a little bit here. So let's just uh, kind of throw some sand down over here, if you don't mind. Oh, look at that. What a tragedy. They have stopped moving. Or at least it's a tragedy for them. <laughs> I'll just get past this one here, and then I will... Oh, I was going to say, I will get on top of... There we go. That's good enough. <laughs> Red rupee. Yeah. Now we're going to try and doodle ourselves a straight line. I was going to say straight line across, so I stop all of them in line if I can help it. Well, actually, maybe I can just do it with one, yeah. <laughs> that will do just fine. Yeah, that other thing that I walked on before was indeed a rolling spike trap. Only it wasn't active. Now they're active, though. Because <laughs> we took the sand wand, and this dungeon is angry that we took the sand wand. But it can do nothing about it, including... These duders! Remember that they were impervious before? Well, th watch this, now this is just hilarious. When you start hitting them with this, they start running around like crazy and they become completely harmless to you until they recover. But if you keep hitting them with the sand rod, and, uh, 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 they solidify completely, and then the Jeroons are then pick upable. It's kind of a creepy little face that they've got on there now, but you could just kill them by throwing them to the ground three times delightfully. <laughs> so much for your creepiness. You cannot intimidate me, no matter how spooky you may seem. For victory is in my grasp when I have the power of the sand wand. Worship the sand wand. Worship! Okay, I'm gonna go up here. <laughs> I'd also like to get that stop. There we go. And. Hmm, actually. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, wait, is that. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, that's right, because if I would have went around that way, that would have just been a shortcut down that and up and around there. And I don't believe there's a chest there. You know what? I'm gonna go check that really quick, just because I am. I'm paranoid. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no chest. Okay. Yeah, so it's not that difficult to even get up on top of ye old rolling spike trap anyway. It's just a matter of uh, giving it yourself a little bit of leeway with the sand's dissipation. Because, you know, it, it's timed, basically. So when that sand disappears, then this will start becoming active again after a little shaky shake, and there you go. 
But yeah, you have plenty of time to get across that with ease. So now about this chest. How would one get such a chest that I marked on the map? Well, of course you can do that. Well, I'll get to that boulder in just a sec here. Come on, let just put sand underneath my feet, please. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Pirate necklace. Delightful. Um, I think I'll do this when I come back around, actually, because there's a bunch of other stuff that I gotta do over here first, and for the sake of 100% collectibles. So as you see that I accidentally did with the boulder back there, is that you could actually move stuff with the sand wand as well. Look at that! Bye-bye, <laughs> seemingly impenetrable rolling obstacle! And now this one is... I think I'm, I don't think I'll be able to get it from here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and flop back around the... Pardon? What happened there? Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> See, I was gonna say, I'm gonna have to flop back around the other way. Yeah, let's just get moved on over. I guess I don't need, only need to move it that far, come to think of it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. You got kind of hit my face on the wall, but it still works just fine. And here is, a, I believe, a hint for the whole dungeon. Well, I should say that getting another key in the dungeon. And... Yes, yeah. Well, oh wait, maybe it's not. Maybe it's up here where the hint is. Uh, no, I would not, dang it. <laughs> okay, so I guess I did not need to go there whatsoever. What a tragedy. What a tragedy. I'm sure I touched the edge of that, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> That's okay, we're gonna make it. So it just squeeze through here. Yep, it's, you actually have to squeeze through that. <laughs> Wood hearts. Well preserved in these pots for thousands of years. Um, and now here is where the three eyes are, so let's mark that, shall we? That's kind of a bad three again. Dang it, I'm always doodling my threes way too fast for my own good. Um, I'm gonna shoot this really quick and then prepare to get my sand wand out very quickly as well. Ready? Ready? And now, bow, shoot, because this is all on a timer. <laughs> Voila! And you'll know you'll know why I marked down the, the three and the one there soon enough, but well, but well, you'll see. <laughs> uh, so we gotta do some movements over here. No, 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 back, 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 bad, 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 back. Okay, this way, this way, good boy. Okay, there we go. I just gotta wait for that to go down. And then we'll be able to poop ourselves up to this lower level here. Oh yeah! And then we. I was gonna say we take this and take it back around and then we use it as a platform. Look at that. By the way, there's a treasure chest that's gonna appear over here later on. Just keep that in mind. Let's see what my prize is over here though. Dang it camera. You just gotta zoom out a little bit more, like on that block puzzle over here. <laughs> oh wait, one more. There you go. And voila! Oh no! Take that! <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> it just seems so intimidating. And oops. Hey, hey, what, what did you what did you just do there? What did you just do there? You're not allowed to do that. I froze you. You're not supposed to recover that quickly. <laughs> okay. Whatever. We will destroy you as you are supposed to be destroyed. And there's that chest that I was talking about. And let's cross that barricade. And between one and three is where the key hides! Where the key hides, huh? Sounds promising, but I can't figure it out that diagram. Any ideas? Why, yes I do. One and three. Here is where a key is. <laughs> That's how it works. But I came here mainly for that treasure chest over here because, you know, collectibles sake. <laughs> So I didn't really need that hint or anything like that. I could have just ran over and got that key a little bit earlier, but well. <laughs> Red rupee! Yay! Okay, that's not that big of a prize or anything. <laughs> you just go right down over here. Now we're gonna use this to push the boulder onto the ice I said, I said Dang! <laughs> Okay, there we go. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna push the boulder onto the contraption. See where that hole was? Wait for that sand to go down. Hit this! Ha <laughs> ha! Now I can break that wall open. <laughs> but there's still a matter of that key. And now these boulders are in a different formation. So we've, now we've got to do something a little bit different to get across that. 
Uh, now I just gotta do a little fancy jump there and zoop right past that. And now these boulders aren't moving, but they are blocking that eyeball. So let's move them off to the side, wait for that sand to go down. I say, there we go! <laughs> now we have access to the other area again. Yeah, that's what happened when that we got that sand one, was all sorts of stuff in the dungeon changed or reset and whatnot like that. Oh, 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 you see these guys? We're gonna wanna kill them all. They, and, uh, you know, I didn't get any of them, did I? <laughs> Those are Urgtorok. It's like Oct Octorok variety. And when you get, yeah, when you knock them out of the sand like that, you can then attack them if you're on top of the, uh, <laughs> on top of the same level that they are. Because, you know, you bring them up to the surface just like, you know, the, yeah. But you can only do that when they're, like, smoking. Like that one, yeah, and they're kicking up sand and whatnot. Come on, kill, 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 kill! Yeah! There we go. We'll get another chest for doing this, too. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, broop, broop. Oh, I say. And get this treasure, red rupee. Delightful. By the way, you can find all sorts of stuff in the sand in certain places. Like, uh, yeah, remember that circle that I circled over there? That was actually a really accurate circling where I put that. <laughs> There she is! But yeah, there's another area that you can find a whole bunch of stuff under the sand, so just keep your sand sleuthing like that all day and all night, and you will be a happy camper. So now that I got that key, I think I'm gonna end off the part here, because we got a whole other section of the dungeon to do. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then when we do so! Excitement!